Hey, this is a kind of serious video. Uh, it's not going to affect all of you, but it might, because you might see this elsewhere. You might see this if you go to a county fair or, I guess, comic conventions, because this is happening at L.A. Comic Con. And I wanted to let people know, I'm a guy, I've been scammed in my life. I've come close to being uh, incredibly scammed out of thousands of dollars. Thankfully, I averted that. And that's why I like to be on the up and up about these uh, scams that are out there. And today I saw one, and I kind of lost my mind. I tried to get the, the con to shut it down. I tried to get the cops involved, but they, they're confused because it's a confusing scam. It's an elaborate scam. And I want to show you guys this. If you have anybody at LA Comic Con, make sure they stay away from these two booths. I'm going to show you the booths right now. Let's see. Uh, do we have the window? Okay, so there's two booths right now at LA Comic Con that are running this scam. Okay, there's one uh, booth. You see it's got a bunch of like t-shirts around it. And they have this board here, which we'll get into. Then there's this guy here. He also has a board. And back here, both of them have a bunch of ping pong balls. Okay, so this is going to involve a bunch of random ping pong balls. This is this is complicated to explain, but this is an old carny game called Razzle Dazzle. Okay, we can actually, if you look up a Razzle Dazzle game, you're going to find uh, on Wikipedia, it's going to tell you this is a scam Sometimes presented as a gambling game historically, Casino Savannah, Cuba, you'll find this in Mexico a lot, which is why I'm not happy to see it in L.A. Comic Con, which should know better. I don't know why they're allowing gambling booths. Um, now, the traditional razzle-dazzle, maybe we'll take a look at it in a second, but here's the most important thing. Uh, here's how they're running it, is you have this thing. You have to pay $5 for each ping pong ball. They're going to randomly pick up a ping pong ball, and depending on what number's on it, you're going to score points. And you're trying to score 100 points. So this board is what's important, because the board is designed to be cryptic and confusing, okay? So the idea is they're going to pull these numbers out of the, you know, hopper, like a, like a bingo hopper, and depending on what you get, you're going to get points, okay? And that's where they're going to get you. So... As you can see, uh, greens don't do anything. You get a 115, you 116, nothing. So all the greens are useless to you. If you get a black one, like a 137, 122, they give you a house prize, which is going to be like a cheap little figurine, a cheap whatever. So what you want to do is you want to hit these red ones and see how they're scattered around to make you think, oh, well, it's truly random. You know, some of them, you just get points. A 146, I get two points. You know, this one, you could get, if you get any of these, you'll win immediately. You just have to get one of those balls. Which, uh, I, I hate to tell you, they probably aren't even in the hopper. I doubt there's a 125 ball in there. Most of these are like 10 points, whatever else. So, the thing is, you go in there and you go, well, okay, well, there's probably only one 124 ball, one 125 ball. But these other balls scattered around, I just have to keep playing. Like, if I hit a 47, well, that's 20 points right there. 118, 115, I just have to eventually hit 100, and I'll win. So, if I keep playing, I mean, they have up there, uh, if we see the prizes, they've got... PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, you're like, well, I might as well. It's only $5 a poll. $5 a poll. And what they'll do is when you come over, they go, let me do one for free. Let me let you do it for free. And on your first one, they'll go, see, you just won on your very first one 10 points. They'll give you 10 points right to start. You go, They'll go, that it's that easy. They might give you 25 points. They might give you 50 points, and they probably will give you 50 points. They'll go, oh, my God, I've never seen somebody get 50 points on the first one. You're you're already halfway to getting a prize. Can you believe it? And you go, wow, I'm already halfway to getting a prize. Well, I might as well put $5 in and give it a try. Now you're hooked because you didn't consider that the carnival operator might have gave you – you never ex you expect a carnival game to not give you points. If it was rigged, they wouldn't give you any, right? They'd say, sorry, you didn't win. Sorry, you didn't win. But they give you some points to get you on the hook to go, oh, it's easy to win. I already won some points. I'm on my way there. And you go, well, I mean, who cares, right? It's okay. It's $10 a play for the jumbo prize. So if you're going for a PlayStation, it's $10 a play. So you start off $10 a play. Again, they're controlling the balls. And the way I've seen it, I had one of the guys show me the ping pong ball. The ping pong ball has three numbers on it. So the number might be, let's say it is uh, 126, or what would be a better number for him? Let's say it's something like the 144. He can very easily use his thumb to cover up that second four and tell you, oh, that's a 14, you got uh, four points. Or that's a 44, you got a stupid little prize. And I assume that if you take the stupid little prize, you walk away 
with you know you either take the super little prize or you keep going and you sacrifice that to keep paying and keep playing here's where they really get you is if you hit the 121 the 141 the 11 uh, i'm not sure exactly the way they have it set up let me see if i can zoom in on this again they try to make it as confusing as possible can i open this in a different window so let's look at these bonus rules Bonus rules. You pay and play each time till you win. You're guaranteed to receive prizes after scoring 100 points or more. You can't not lose. You can't not lose. As long as you keep paying money, you will eventually win. Or so they tell you. I mean, they might wait. After you spend $800, then they might give you the PlayStation after you're already $800 in the hole. Here's where it gets crazy. The operator must add and player must double on numbers 11, 121, and 141. And this is where you get fucked, because you don't notice this rule until afterwards. And you're already in it. You already are in the mindset of, I'm going to win. I'm just going to keep paying $10 until I win. Then you hit the 121, and they go, well, here's what just happened. So I'm going to add an extra prize. Not only are you playing for the PlayStation 5, you're also playing for this big screen TV. And you go, oh, my God, two prizes. And they go, but... You have to double your bet. Player must double on this 121, this 141, or this 11. So now you're not paying for $10 a hit. You're paying for $20 a hit. Okay? Then you keep going. You hit that again. He goes, well, I'm adding a third prize. Now you're also going to get a Nintendo Switch, but you got to pay $40 a hit. And again, you're playing this game, and as you're going, they have full control over the ping pong balls. So at any point, they can go, oh, sorry, penalty, you lost 10 points. But more often than not, when they see you're going to walk away, when they see you're like, oh, I'm spending too much money, I get to give up, they're going to pull the 15 out and give you an extra five points and tell you, see, you're still winning. You're that much closer without letting you know that this is completely controlled by them. Now, the traditional way of doing it is with this Razzle Dazzle board, and this is the original one that came along. 10 points or more win. So let's this take a look games consoles at this, cla is, this is a classic scam again. This let's take a look. It's the Razzle Dazzle. Paul starts touting for business. Right. All right, guys, come and play. It's just a game. We don't buy. Get two free rolls. It's really simple. It's two pound a roll. I'll give you two to start. We win any of the prizes that you see here today. When you roll, whatever score you get, yep. we'll make points. If okay. you roll a 41, you get a point and a half, like that. If you get 10 points, you win anything that you like. But today, it's two pound a roll. Go for it. It's just rolling now, right? So see how he started off the exact same way you would start it off? You go, it's only $2 a roll. At no point, have they have not mentioned the double rule, because they want you to get into it. You've spent 10, 20 bucks before all of a sudden you learn about this rule where your bet's going to start getting doubled. And they go, well, it was on the chart the whole time. Again, the chart that you were supposed to figure out this rule with, you have raise bonus add. They all have different things, even though they all mean the exact same thing. So why do they give them three different uh, weirdo names without telling you operator must add and player must double? That's very vague. They don't tell you that ahead of time because they want you to start getting into it and thinking, oh my God, I'm going to win. I'm already at 60 points. Next thing you know... Uh, you're up to 50 bucks a bet, 60 bucks, you know, 100 bucks a bet. So let's take a look. That's it. The game is simple. There's a cup with eight marbles. The player throws the marbles onto a board with lots of holes, each one randomly numbered. Now, again, this one is the six. traditional way they used to run. Paul it. adds up the total and compares it to a scorecard to find out how many prize points they've made. All the player has to do is win 10 prize points for a fantastic jackpot. So you've got eight yeah. plus six is 14, yeah. plus nine, 23, 25, 29, 32. Now 32 doesn't win anything. I'll give you another roll. Go for it. Now you have a look over here, you'll see the points that you want to get. Okay, so that's uh, 35 plus four. 39. 39 plus five. 44, so. Now, I don't know if you noticed that. What's so great about this game and the complication, this whole looking at the uh, the numbers on the paper, is the sleight of hand. Is that the player is trying to figure out the game, is looking at the numbers that are being rolled. And while that's happening, very easy for you to switch whatever your ping pong ball or whatever else is. And what they're going to do here is use it for a fake count. 44 is five points. You're already halfway there. That's lucky, to be honest. 
44, you already got five points. But what they don't tell him is he just did a fake count. Now, this game, the way it works, the marbles, it's astronomically impossible to roll a 44. You know, the the points for each marble, it can go up. Each hole is worth a certain number of points. You would have to get your marble in every single six hole to get a 44. But the guy just rips them out of the hole. Well, you're not looking. Pay attention. They were looking at the thing. He goes, you just got a 44. My God, you got five points. You're already halfway to a prize. Exactly what I said. You see the points that you want to get. I'm lucky, to be honest. That's really lucky to get so far, so, so that fast. Stay if I've got another two pounds. Absolutely. Yeah. You keep playing, your points are good. As soon as you walk away, you lose. As soon as you walk away, you lose. I want to show you something else on this on this board. One minute delay ends game. So what that means is if you do not place another bet within the minute of your last bet, that's over. And what this creates is a very obvious psychological, oh my God, I have to keep giving this guy money. If I give him money, these points are going to go away. And it's it's the sunk cost fallacy. It's I'm already in. I've already got five points. Why would I stop now? And it, it, right here on the board, right here on the sheet, they're telling you, don't walk away. You can't walk away. You have to keep spending money. Now, I've had people come to me and they're like, oh, well, whatever, Vito. It's just one, you know, it's just a scam. What are you going to do? This, this is one of the most insidious psychological scams because it gives people this insane false hope of believing that they are so close to winning a PlayStation 5 and that all they have to do is give this guy... They'll run to the ATM. They'll go, well, I'm one roll away from winning. Why would I not give them another $100, $200, $300? And by the time they're done, they'll even pay more than the PlayStation is worth because they'll go, well, I've already gave him $600. But at this point, wouldn't it be better to spend another 100 and get the PlayStation than to have spent 600 and gotten nothing? This is such an insidious scam. Well, Watch we'll these guys. Back if you win ahead of time. Yeah. So what do you want to play for? Yes, you want to go for the games He wants the PlayStation 3. Which He's back then for this. was what, 300 bucks? Top of the range games console. Go for it, roll. A whole load of zeros, but then... 39, right? Half a point. Half a point, you know, half a point up. I think you should keep playing. The only way you can lose is to walk away. That's another 10 pounds. Yes, yes, roll for it. You got another five. Go for it. Let's go. Oh, See, that's what's so crazy about it. Is you start off, you're like, well, I'm only $10 in the hole. And I'm halfway to a PlayStation. I'm only $10 in a hole. But look at where you end up. Look, it just keeps going. Now we got nine. 22. That's 29. No points again, but that's the magic number. Oh, yeah. yeah. The 29 does not add points. Right. It does add prizes. Now, it does double, so it's four pound a roll after that. But you're playing for any two prizes you like on the stand. OK, so currently you're playing for that. Yeah. Pick any other prize you like on the stand. The mark is now playing for the games console and a widescreen TV. Oh my god, dude. But it this now costs four pounds. This a is throw. so hard to watch. 30, nothing for 30. Another four pound if you want to play. Come on, look at what you're playing for. You get five plays for that. Oh my god, it's so hard to watch this. And this is why I got so mad. One and a half. Again, this is going on in LA Comic Con right now. I'm like really mad. Because look. He's just dumping money away. You gotta pay again if you want to play. Let me tell you something. It usually takes somebody a lot longer to make five points. You made five points like that. Look at what you're gonna win. Really? It's true. The mark has already spent forty pounds, but by the sound of it, he'd be mad to quit now. <laughs> Actually, the only mad thing is that he's playing this game in the first place, and here's why. So they're going to break it down that, again, the odds of him winning are astronomical on that marble board. Now, what they're running at LA Comic Con is a different kind of scam. But even though the way they're getting the numbers are out is different with these ping pong balls, which, again, I'm pretty sure they will hide the number. They have a way of manipulating the number. It doesn't matter how they're doing it. It doesn't even matter if they're doing it legally. It doesn't matter if they're legally pulling the numbers out because the psychological aspect of the game is illegal under California law. If not, uh, I think it's illegal in every state in America. Okay, here we have the California Penal Code 334. As use any person who owns or operates any game at a fair or carnival known of a type as Razzle Dazzle is guilty of a misdemeanor. Here's how Razzle Dazzles are defined. It's a series of games or skills of chance where the payer, player pays money in return for the opportunity to make a successive attempts to obtain, obtain points, by dice, darts, marbles, or other implements. These points are accumulated in successive games with the players towards a total number of points. Because they set up the game knowing how easy it is to trick you 
into gambling away all your money. And I honestly think that there is no way to win a PlayStation or a Switch from them without spending probably $1,000. There's no way they're going to give that PlayStation up for for anything less. And they're, they're, it drives me nuts. And it's a complicated scam to try and explain. I mean, because look at how complicated they make it. They give you this, this stupid sheet with all these numbers on it. And you're looking around two points, 100 points. I mean, if you really wanted to run a game on the up and up, you could just run a raffle. You know, buy one raffle ticket for $5. I'll spend the thing and you either win or you don't. But that does not suck money nearly as quickly as you're halfway to winning a prize. So let me completely screw you over and uh, keep sucking your money away from you. It's uh, insanity. And I can't believe. So here's what I did. I tried. I tried to get, tell these guys what was going on. And uh, I went and I talked to. I got the police to come over, basically. Let me see if I have. I took a picture of them. Uh, yeah, I talked to the cops and the cops told me, listen, man, uh, we are not vice. We don't deal with gambling. Uh, we do not have the ability to shut these guys down. I talked to the con organizers and they said, I mean, they're, again, this is a very complicated scam. Most people have not heard of this. They said, well, we can't prove that they're cheating, but we're going to have them write down who wins and we'll call them to make sure people are winning prizes, which is stupid i'm sure they'll just get their friends to answer the phone and say yeah i want a prize there's no problem i want a playstation 5 thanks for calling again it does not matter whether or not they could be theoretically running this where it is somehow possible to win but regardless just the fact that 99.9 percent .9 of these are scams that california and every state as far as i know in america has said you cannot run games where you are paying to win points, to continuously keep gambling, to keep doubling up the prizes and the amount of the bets. Uh, they got very mad when I came over. There was some guy with his kids, and I went, hey, man, this is a classic Carney scam. Run for the hills. You cannot win. Uh, and the second the cops showed up, this guy and her, they both ran for the hills. The employees were like, uh-oh, we're about to go to jail. Uh, so this is the first booth that's running it. Again, if you're at LA Comic Con, don't go to these booths. Tell everyone there to not go to these booths. What'll happen is you'll get $50 in the hole, and then if you're smart, you're going to accept their stupid door prize, which is like some stupid game or a stupid figure. But there's always going to be that one guy who they really get on the hook who goes, I have seven points. Let's finish. We'll see it with this guy. For two pounds, Let's see. That's why there are so many marbles and so many tiny numbers. No matter where the marbles land, the chances of making a winning total, zero points, or 29 to add another prize that they'll never win. That one, I guess, didn't have the ending. Where's the ending? This one has the full one. Locals. This guy walks away. Look at this. Money back. You gotta be honest, though. I, that, that's a lot. And I'm he goes to the ATM to get more. He got four rolls. Oh, it's so fucking heartbreaking. That's because here's where they get you some of these guys. Now, I don't think they're doing this at the Comic Con, but listen to what he says. I'm going to put that underneath that. All the money you've given me. Come back and win. I'll give you that as well. I'll give you your money back if you win. Well, why would you stop then? Because theoretically, if you play for eternity, you're going to get all your money back anyway. So what happens? Also, give him all. He goes to the ATM. Oh, because the carney has him, the carney has him believing you will get every single dollar you've sunk into this bank. Now, if I'm this guy, I would go to the carney and go, well, why don't you just give me the money back anyway? Why do you need me to keep rolling? The only other option is that you're trying to bankrupt me. Good luck, buddy. I can't. I honestly can't watch this. 22. Come on. Keep you only got to get one more point. You only got to get one more point, he tells him. Oh, so my six God. Is it all rests on this final throw. Right, be lucky. This is why this is why this drives me nuts. I can't this watch this. It. I'm watching a guy throw his money right, away. Pal. Here we go. There's five. Ten. He started off. Seven is remember, 17. here's what sucks. He started off. It was two dollars. Two dollars. I'm in the whole. This seems like a perfectly rational guy. He goes, well, it's two dollars a roll. Who cares? 
you know, what am I going to lose? 10 bucks, 20 bucks, but they got you on the line. And at this point, again, if I told you you're one point away from winning a, a, car, a PlayStation, you're one point away from wearing a PlayStation, a TV, uh, a Nintendo Switch, and all of your money back. You're one point away. You already have nine points, and you've seen how easy it is to win a point. You won five points on your first roll. It's so easy to win a point. Why would you walk away? If this was a real game with real odds, it would actually be stupid for you to walk away. It would make 100% sense to keep playing if you're one point away from winning a PlayStation. But you're not. You're infinite points away from winning a PlayStation. It is impossible for you to win. We'll say it's 25. I'm really sorry. What a surprise. It's another zero. Yeah. Thanks for playing. I really wish you would have won. You're one Thank point you. away. You're great anyway. If I could hold it for you, I would. All right, buddy. Take care. Master. Can't hold the points for you. You have to keep betting. Again, it's on their little sheet. One minute delay ends game. Sorry. But they'll tell you, you know what? I'm going to do a nice thing for you. I'll let you run to the ATM because you're that close. You're that close. I'm going to do a nice thing and let you go to the ATM uh, to pull out more money to fall deeper into the scam. Now, thankfully, look at, the, look, look at the fucking look on his face. He looks like he's about to cry. Hold on. He looks like he's about to cry. I want to cry. Again, that's why I'm so mad that this is happening in real life. Now, this was this was a guy. Thankfully, they gave him his money back because it was part of a TV show. He went, I can't believe I got scammed. But right now, there's people at LA Comic Con who are getting ripped off in the exact same way. All right, next. The and has got the better of me, and I just wanted to keep going and keep going and keep going. And the fact that I got five points in my first go, and you only have to get ten, proved to me that you could get points. And if I had a few more notes in my pocket, I would have probably spent more. Number of games are... <sighs> anyway, I'm very upset. As I've said, I'm very upset. So one more time, I want to go through what I have. Now, sadly, I came in the second day of LA Comic Con, so this means this went on all day Friday. I, hopefully, I, I don't know who they scammed or for how much, but these are awful people. So again, I'm going to go through what I have. There's two booths. This one is... It's at the end of the row. You can see the main stage right there. So there's that one. I'm going to real quick look up where the other booth is. This is for LA Comic Con attendees i want you guys to know what's up okay so this booth is right near the main stage as you can see there's the stage so this one would be off to the left and the other booth which is this man who's running pretty much the exact same scheme it looks a slightly different is in aisle 600 if you're coming into the convention center it's going to be on your left going down aisle 600 again his is you have to get up to 420 points you know, and it'll start you off. Oh, look, you got a 90 pointer right away. His has a bust on it. So I think when he thinks he's taken enough money from you, he goes, oh, sorry, you rolled a bust and uh, let you go on your way. Hopefully he, I, mean, I hate to say this hopefully, but I'm hoping they're not scamming people for more than, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks at a go. But as you've seen, you can very easily, if you're going for a PlayStation, end up on the hook for hundreds of dollars if you get going down that rabbit hole i'm hoping these guys are only slight grifters and uh you know willing to cut people off without completely ruining their day because look three playstation fives you think this guy's really gonna give away your playstation 5 playing for five bucks a roll no it's the razzle dazzle the razzle dazzle oh god so it's these two booths i don't like these people Again, if you need to look at this stupid board, the bonus rules, doubling your bet, it's, it is a classic razzle-dazzle scam. And as I've said, it doesn't matter if they're somehow running it. If it's Maybe it's possible to win the prizes if you play a thousand times, a million times. I don't know exactly how they're doing it, but it doesn't matter because these types of games are illegal for this reason. Because they are so easy to manipulate people and manipulate the players, sneak rules up on them, and bilk them out of hundreds of dollars. So, uh, again, what do, what do you call it? This, this is just a warning. If you're going to be at LA Comic-Con tomorrow, I hope these booths are gone. I've told the con organizers about them. I'm hoping they think about it and they go, yeah, why are we allowing gambling regardless? Uh, we'll see. But if you're going to be there, you know anyone who is. Or if you're going to another comic convention and you see this, please call it out and uh, show people this video or show them the, these types of scams. Again, they're illegal everywhere. They, they should not be out there, and they're just scamming people out of their money. Drives me nuts. It's sad. I don't know. what You have a Comic-Con booth. Just sell toys and action figures like everyone else. You can make money legitimately. Why scam people? 
people are terrible. 